When it comes to welfare, it's not only food stamps, uh, it's uh, states that are on the dole, aren't they? Indeed. Representative Chip Campbell uh, and I were just discussing off camera uh, the uh, position of South Dakota. We're some things we're number one. Yes, we are. And when it comes to federal welfare, tell us, tell our viewers how South Dakota ranks. Well, I'm quoting sort of the governor of our state, and I appreciate his uh, willingness to tell us that we are the number one partaker of federal largesse of all 50 states. My goodness. Well, I guess uh, we can uh, uh, tie up the horse and go in for a cup of coffee. Then. <laughs> yes, and, and we, in, in regards to that, we have a structurally balanced budget. Yes, uh, on the backs of the federal government and the taxpayers of the country, really. Yes. Um, my recollection is that out of a, a budget that's in excess of $4 billion, uh, what is it? Uh, is it 40, 50 percent of that that's federal uh, welfare? Well, the number that's used a lot is one-third, which is bad enough since that one-third yeah. consists of money that is borrowed to the tune of Forty percent, and what what's going to happen in your estimation, Chip, if the federal government uh, uh, comes to the point, and I believe they are going to, but I'll say for now, if the federal government comes to the point where their check isn't good, what does that do to South Dakota? Uh, maybe we ought to start with the their check isn't good uh, idea. Uh, there are those who claim that check will never not be good just because of the Fed and the government itself with the ability to <clears throat> print money. Just print it, yes. Yes. However, that, that discounts worldwide economics and that certainly since from a lot of people's standpoint we want to be a, uh, what's the word, a global entity now instead yes. of a, uh, a United States of America, uh, it has an impact. And we can see what happens in Greece and Spain and Germany, it, uh, Portugal, a lot of countries that are uh, behind in their debts. Yes. Well, some, many people, as a matter of fact, are predicting that the dollar will fail. And if the dollar failed, uh, it wouldn't matter how many of them they printed, it wouldn't be worth anything. True. So now we're at the South Dakota point. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do? Uh, my personal feeling is the state of South Dakota and their, their government would survive this. Uh, the governor would get together with his staff and they'd come up with a plan. Well, if they could cut a third out of spending in a, an emergency scenario, why do we see South Dakota state government still continuing to grow in terms of expenditures? Because I think there is probably more than a third involved in, in some ways, and I can't pinpoint how or where. Uh, the state itself is generating only about a third of the budget, if I have my ducks in, in a row. About 1.3 billion is what we're receiving from the citizens of South Dakota. Yes, so it right. would take about a two-thirds uh, hit, cut, yeah. whatever you want to call it, to. Uh, and I still think the citizens of South Dakota are strong and able enough to overcome that. Well, there would I, be screams and moans and, and wails and question. gnashing of teeth. That begs the question, though, if we could survive that, if we could cut two-thirds of our budget. Why don't we? Why don't we cut uh, 15, 20 percent? Why don't we reduce the size of government in South, Deca South Dakota instead of growing it? Very good point. And it grew this year. Yes, it did. Well, And I was part and parcel of that, and I apologize to the people of South Dakota for the additional full-time employees that we have generated and for the extra money in the budget that probably shouldn't have been there. 
Well, there you have it. Uh, we uh, Last uh, time we had an opportunity to sit at this desk, uh, Representative Campbell admitted he'd made some mistakes. Now he's issued a formal <laughs> apology. Seriously, it would be a wonderful thing in the state of South Dakota if we had more men and women who subscribe to the conservative principles of my friend, Representative Chip Campbell. <laughs>